What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Brook and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey how you doing? Today we're going to be checking out down coats or puffer jackets, however you want to refer to them as. I'm talking about, you know, the Montclairs, the Canada Goose. I have a few of them laid out right here. I'm going to show them to you um, and then I'm going to kind of teach you guys or show you guys how I style them or how I prefer to style them. It being kind of a puffier coat, you know, sometimes it can be different whenever, you know, you put your favorite jeans on with the new big coat you just got and for some reason you look in the mirror and it's just not really looking the way way you want so hopefully I can help you guys with that show you guys how I wear my puffer coats and whenever I do uh, bring them in the shot I'll try to get um a little video of me wearing them and then I can also source uh, that jacket. If you want to get some of this stuff yourself, you guys are more than available to do that. All you have to do is hop over to my Instagram. Feel free to shoot me a DM if you have any questions or there's specific items that you're wanting. Um, but I do have just tons of stuff posted and I have reels with all sorts of shoes and jackets for you guys to check out and everything's already tagged and good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. And let's start off with one of the newer ones that I have gotten. And as I'm looking at this pile right now, um, there is a couple that I am missing, so I'll have to go get those in a minute. But starting off, we just have this nice olive green Canada Goose jacket. And this one does come with a zippable hood. However, um, I like to rock them without the hood. That is because um, typically if you're going to wear a puffer jacket like this, it's going to be really cold outside. So when it is super cold, you know depending on if you're going to be outside or just going from you know your house the car going to where you're going and then you're there but then now you're stuck with this big jacket on so what do you do and that's why usually or typically when i do wear these i always either wear them with a long sleeve shirt or a hoodie because chances are it's going to be cold outside so whenever you get to where you're going you want to take this bad boy off but if it's cold you don't want to like be in that weird middle ground to where if you take it off you're too cold but if you put it on you're too hot you know what i'm saying we've all been there so um usually like i said i'll rock a long sleeve i like to pull them up about three quarters i like to always wear watches and stuff too i think it just looks good looks a little bit more elegant that way but that's just how i like to roll it if you like to keep them down you can totally keep them down too but that's just kind of my strategy when it comes to terms of these big jackets so um of course if you're just wanting to rock it to rock it and it's a you know in the 50s 60s then you're probably good to wear a short sleeve shirt with it but these do um, keep really good heat like these are insulated so good so if you have this on in your house where you're warm um, and then go in your car like it'll stay warm for a while like usually until your car warms up so that's super sick let's keep it moving though well hangers coming off this is a brand new one that I also just got this is a Montclair and it has this badass mountain landscape on the back of it this one did come from Featherland X and it is my, I think, third order with them. I have gotten stuff previously from them, uh, but their quality and stuff is always, I'm sure as you can see, the quality is always just absolutely um, immaculate. The Montclairs, from what I've noticed, aren't as thick or as heavily insulated as, say, the Canada Goose are. So if you are wanting a severe cold weather jacket the canada goose is probably the route that you want to go the montclairs they look sick and like yeah yeah i mean they look good and they'll keep you warm but they're just not like picking these two coats up like this one is significantly lighter than this one is but this thing is just such a banger if you slap a hoodie underneath it of course like you're gonna be uh just fine and it also has this new logo right there i don't know um if you guys know when they started uh, donning that if you do drop a comment but it's the first time I've seen this new Montclair logo I think it looks super sick that's two down let's pop over in here into the stack and see what we can find and we got another Canada goose I did get this one last season as you can see this one doesn't have a detachable hood that is something I would look into whenever you are ordering make sure you get one with a detachable hood because typically the hoods on these things are absolutely gigantic here I'll put it on real quick so you can see the hoods are just really really big so if you're not wanting like a big vamp cowl 
then I recommend, like I said, get the zip off hood. That's just the way to go. So we'll put it on. And as you can see, it gives me a full engulf, which of course, if I'm up in Alaska, you know, fishing or hunting or something, and I need full wind coverage, like, yeah, this is going to be absolutely perfect, but, uh, I'm just not there. I'm, I'm not. So, uh, I really don't need that. So that's why I'm saying do your due diligence, especially if you're spending more than a hundred dollars on something. Um, something I've heard before is if you think that you want something, Think about it, find it at the store, whatever, and then go home. And if you wake up the next day still wanting it, then go back and buy it. But don't uh, impulse buy. And that can be really um, a really hard thing to fight in fast fashion and, and trends. And we're in the day and age where social media is just everything's changing so quick. There's always something new every single week. So if you're trying to keep up, like, don't do that. Just find the stuff that you like find your little set aesthetic that you look good in and just roll with that. That's really about as easy as I could say that. Let's uh, keep it moving. This one is actually from my good buddy Yule. And I do uh, try to post pictures whenever I do dress um, on my story. I've been off work, so I've been getting to wear my clothes about 90% more than I typically would, but uh, go back to work December 1st, so that's coming to an end pretty quick. But, you know, my hand is getting better for those of you um, who were wondering. But, boom, Dior Puffer. This is probably my favorite, uh, or one of my favorite ones. The stitching on here, too, um, just like the embroidered oblique logo in here, just looks super good, and when you're standing, uh, in a room or something that has the down lighting, like as you kind of rotate, it just sheens and shines and you can see the Dior on there. It looks really, really good. I like to wear this one with an all black fit, uh, just casually. That's kind of usually how I rock that one. A lot of these, um, the majority of these, yeah, I'd say I, I usually throw um, an all black fit in. I do like to wear the camo pants with some of the black tops. And then of course you could do um, white or blue with um, the white Montclairs and puffers. I try to avoid wearing too tight of a jean with these because you don't want to get like that Christmas tree look to where, or like, I don't know, upside down V or whatever to where your legs look like you're popped up into a popsicle or something like that. That's not what we're going for. Want it to be flowing and look aesthetic. Um, I do have the Dior boots whenever I do wear that one. So this these go really well uh, with the jacket, kind of a more winterized look that gets put together. But yeah, let's keep it rolling. And we have another Canada Goose here. And this is actually a newer one that I've got. Um, one of my favorite things on this one is this black Canada Goose logo. Don't get to see that too often. And this one itself is actually in camo, so you don't have to worry about wearing the camo pants. You can just rock a nice solid bottom. I need to go let the dog out. Yeah, and I haven't even got to wear this one yet. Uh, does have a camo patch back here too. These are all XLs. I do have people ask me about the sizing quite a bit. Um, that's something I usually forget to talk about. Um, I'm roughly 6'1-ish, about 185-ish pounds, and I typically get XL and tops and bottoms, like just across the board, and about 95, 99% of the time, everything fits. Best thing you can do, though, is go get your measurements, go to Men's Warehouse or just any suit store that's in your area, go to the mall, anyone in the mall, uh, tip them 10 bucks, and then you'll have your measurements that way whenever it comes time to ordering online. Um, I'm a big eBay guy, too, and eBay does full measurements. That way you know what you're buying before you buy it, and you don't end up running into having this whole extra side of your closet that's just stuff that you bought that doesn't fit. Nobody wants to do that. Let's keep it rolling. This is uh, another one of my favorites. I guess they're all my favorites because um, I've kept them and I wear them. So technically, I guess they're all my favorites. But this is the Montclair Fragment. I don't actually have a full Maya Montclair. Uh, those are very, very popular. And majority of the time when people reach out to me wanting the Montclair, they want the Maya. I do like how this one does have just a little bit of that more kind of patent silk 
uh, that the full Maya does and then the rest of it's kind of this matte texture. This one also doesn't have a hood. It has an attachable hood. Most of these winter coats do, but some of them have the fixed hood like the black one. So that's why I said you want the detachable hood. Make sure you order one with the detachable hood. This one has all types of branding. This is the Pokemon collab that they did, the Thunderbolt project. They do have some other pieces. I think there might be a white jacket as well um, in the Montclair Pokemon collab. I'm not sure. I got to go grab those other two because I already got up and I forgot to get them. All right, starting off, uh, Canada Goose Vest. This is the newest, one of the newer ones I've gotten and the one that I've worn the most so far like i said i like to wear them with hoodies so the fact that this doesn't have sleeves or a hood and a hoodie has sleeves and a hood and this is a vest so then if i combine the two it's perfect that's just kind of just kind of how it rolls um i don't know what it is about wearing a vest too i don't know if it's just the layering aspect or just because of hollywood and like associating vest with things but i just i feel like it looks nice it makes it kind of ups the ante you know it's like you walk in everyone's wearing you know their little coats and they got all that and you walk in wearing the canada goose vest bro gas gas and we got one more this is the final one hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video hopefully the fits that i've thrown together help you guys whenever it comes time to style your down jackets and of course you don't have to get the canada goose ones i know um I'm pretty sure Costco has cool jackets at the moment on sale, the Kirkland brand. And then Kohl's is a really good place to find um, jackets and winter gear. Kohl's has the Levi sponsorship, so they have all types of good Levi stuff in there that gets slept on. Uh, TJ Maxx, and like I said, I eBay a lot. But this is a, I guess technically this could be a Maya, but this is a Maya vest in white, and it is Montclair. As you can see, I love wearing this one. Uh, with the all white or all rock white pants and the other day I wore um, the brown Travis Scott highest in the room hoodie and then I wore the Travis uh, reverse mocha AJ1 lows with it and I thought it went together very very nicely uh, can't really go wrong but it is winter time it's getting cold make sure you're staying warm make sure you have options make sure you don't lock yourself into a situation um, on where you're not going to be acclimated to the temperature because that's not what we want. We want to be smooth and cool in every situation. And hopefully I can help you guys do that. I'm Jeff Robe. Thanks for checking out this video today. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I got full length reviews also on my Patreon. And I'll be back soon when I got some more content for you.